Hola! Hola chicos y chicas, bienvenidos! Today we're going to learn how to say the words for nine different pets. Let's have a go. Say them after me. Perro. 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 Gato. 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 Conejo. 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 Pez. 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 Pájaro. 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 Tortuga. 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 Ratón. 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 Cobaya. 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 Hamster. 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 Let's just try them all one more time. Perro. Gato. Conejo. Pez. Pájaro. Tortuga. Ratón. Cobaya. Hamster. Let's just make sure that you know what all of these pets are. So, perro is of course a dog. Gato is a cat. Conejo is a rabbit. Pez is a fish. Pájaro is a bird. Not necessarily a budgie, just any bird. Tortuga is a tortoise or a turtle. Ratón is a mouse, not a rat. Rat is rata. Cobaya is a guinea pig. And hamster, believe it or not, is a hamster. Now, while we were saying those words, did you notice which ones were masculine and which ones were feminine? Have a little look, see if you can work out which of the animals are masculine words and which are feminine words. Pause the video if you want to have a closer look. Do you think you've worked it out? I think there are some that are a bit tricky, aren't there? Let's have a look with some extra words to help us. So now we have un perro, un gato, un conejo, un pez, un pájaro, una tortuga, un ratón, una cobaya, and un hamster. Does this tell you the answers to the ones that you couldn't work out before? So what do you think? Which ones are masculine and which ones are feminine? Here are the answers. They're all masculine except for una tortuga and una cobaya. We can tell which ones are feminine because they have una in front of them and they have an a on the end. Well done if you got that right. Now we can put these pet words into sentences in the same way as we did with the family members. All we need to do is to put me in front of the animal for my and then we can say what the pet's name is and how old the pet is. Here's an example. Mi ratón se llama Nat. Tiene dos años. And here's another example. 
Mi gato se llama Rusty. Tiene siete años. Could you work out what I was saying about those two animals? Could you talk about your pets or animals that you know? Hasta luego!